off in America, New York. 20 years. You going to high school here? Did, did you ever learn about slavery in high school? You never heard learn about slavery in high school? Do you know that, that our history is that we've gone to slavery? You know that? The high school never taught you that? Wow. They, they work in fast. Why, why wouldn't you be taught that? Isn't that, isn't that uh, American history? Didn't they, didn't they have us in slavery? You don't know anything about this, the slave trade here. Yeah. Us being slaves, being whooped in the back. I, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm perplexed. Wait. So you can't just, just because you put it up there, doesn't mean it's the truth. We gotta read what God's word is. Read. What? Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So this is the revelation. You know what it is? You know what revelation means? Revelation? Yes. Revelation, the root word is to reveal. It means to show things. You understand? It's going to reveal something. So that means that there was a lie being perpetrated on earth. John the revelator, this is the disciple that walked with Christ. He's going to reveal to us something. You understand? Breathe. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So God is showing you things that will shortly come to pass. Read. And he set and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. So this is what God showed John. That's, that's exactly what I'm reading. So get to the point. Read. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So now John, he sees Christ walking to him. This is when he's on the island of Patmos. He's in jail. He said his head and his hair were white like wool. Huh. So, I heard that. I heard that. so, so, but what's that? Is that, is that white and woolly? No. No. So that's a strike one. That's a yeah. lie. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Read. As white as snow. So now he's telling you the texture of his hair was woolly and the color was white. So he saw an aged man. Oh. A man, do you understand? Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. So now John, John's looking at him from head to toe. It's like I'm looking at him from head, and now I'm looking at his toes. So he's dressed up in a garment, the scripture yeah. says. Now he sees his feet. Read. As if, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in the furnace. The scripture says, and his feet were as brass. You know what brass is? What color is brass? What that color? That yes, yes. So now it says as what? As if they burned in a furnace. As if they burned it in a furnace. So now if you take that color and you burn it, what color is that? You burn it. If I take rice, white rice, right? And I burn white rice. What color is it? It turns black. So what are you learning? That Jesus is black. You, uh, come, wait, come, come close. Come yes. close. Say that loud on the mic. That Jesus is black. Yes. That's, That's right. right. Yes. Jesus is a black man. And you, you know what? You know how you understood that? Because you read it. We read it out of the scripture. Right. Now, in the church, are they doing this? No. They hide that from us. Why? They don't want us to know. Why? Now, I don't know, man. now, now, give me Song of Solomon. So, if Jesus is, is Jesus, if Jesus is black, what does his people look like? It must be, it must be same line. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait same wait, wait. line, right? So that uh, it can't be white or green if I, he's black. Thank you. This is basic logic. But mathematics, man. But but the white man, he'll paint a picture and tell you, no, it's not true. You understand? Read that. Song of Solomon, chapter one and verse five. So, so do that in the church. Do that in the church. See? Read that. Read that again. Do that in the church. Read that. I am black. Wait, wait. Song of Solomon. Read that again. Song of Solomon, chapter one and verse five. You listen, listen. You ever heard of so Solomon? Uh -huh. King Solomon, uh -huh. the richest man, richer than any man you thought. Here, over here, we print money. And the money's supposed to add up to what the goals in the in the uh -huh. bank. 
King Solomon had gold. I'm talking about real gold in his hand. Listen to what the richest man ever in, in the world ever said. Listen, read. I am black, but comely. Read, uh, read that again. I am black, but comely. So what is what 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 color is King Solomon? Black. You know what comely means? Comely means I'm black and beautiful. You understand? That's the saying in a black community. We I'm black, we're beautiful. You understand? Why haven't we learned this? Because they're, they're, they're not showing that in school today. They're not, they're not breaking that. They're showing us, uh, how can I say? What are they showing us? They're not showing us what, what the real deal, what, what it's supposed to be. Because, you know why? Give me um, Psalms 80, 82 and 6. This is why. If you understood this, remember, we are, we are brothers. And the reason why we're brothers is because we come from the same bloodline. So, as much as they try to separate Dominicans and Haitians, we're the same people. The same we're the same, same people. Line, same man. line. Read that. Psalms chapter 82 and verse 6. Yeah. Listen up! This is why they're trying to separate you from the Bible. They do not want you to understand this. Read. I have said, ye are gods. God has said, what's your name? What's your Johnny. Name? Johnny, you are a god. Good. That's why they would always take this image and separate you from that image. You would know that you're a god. Right there, that man right there, that's a god too. Yes, sir. But do we treat each other like gods? No. That's the problem. No. And this is, and this is why you have all these uh, uh, school to uh, prison pipeline to make sure that your mind will never understand those things. They separate, they separate us through what? Religion? They separate us through uh, politics? But we're the same people. You understand? Read. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. But all of us, brother, 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 where, where are you from? No, read, read, read. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. And all of us, all of us, are you, are you Hispanic, so-called, I'm a so-called Haitian. He's a so-called Jamaican. You understand? We are the same people. We're God's, we're the Israelites. That's the only race that we are, that we truly come from, we derive from. You understand? But read. But ye shall die like men. Wait, okay, one second, one second. One second. Yes, yes, yes. But uh, before you go, John, I want to show you the other half of what people lied about. So I showed you that Christ is a black man. I knew something of that already. Okay, that I'm gonna show you something that you might have not known. Give me Revelation to one now. Cause remember, remember John, who drew this picture? Yes. Who Who's out there trying to be God? The white man. So now, what, is, what does the white man tell you? He's the children of who? God. He had to, because do you see the Chinese man trying to do that? He's not trying to portray that. The white man, who put us in slavery? Who put us in slavery? The white man. The worst slavery. They all had a hand in it, but they put us in the worst atrocity ever. Yes, That's in the Bible too, read. Yes, Revelation chapter two and verse nine. I know thy works. God said he knows your works. This is the last book of the Bible, the Revelation. This is the end, finito. This is the end of the Bible. He said, I know, he's talking to you, John. He said, I know your works. He said, I know your works you're putting out in the streets. How you working nine to five? You're breaking your back and you can't get over it. You have to, today's God's Sabbath. Most of our people out there working so they can make ends meet. Right. They're down to, oh, if I make $95 today, I'll be able to pay my light bill. Yes. You understand? Yeah. That's what the works he's talking about, read. And tribulation, God said, God said he knows the tribulations that we're going through on these blocks in the Bronx, <coughs> in Brooklyn. Nice. In Manhattan, in Harlem, he knows all the atrocities in Dominican Republic, in nice. Haiti, in, in um, um, Puerto Rico. Read. And poverty. And poverty. Are we poor in these places? Is this living? Are we rich here? No. You understand that? Read. But thou art rich. God said what? Thou art rich. God said, but you're rich. You might be poor, poor in your pockets. 
But you're rich. You know why you're rich? You know why you're rich? Because through your veins pumps his blood, the bloodline of Christ. Read. And I know the blasphemy. You know what a blasphemy means? No. Blasphemy is a detestable lie. It's worse than just a regular lie. There's a white lie. You know what white lie is? It's supposed to be, say, a, a small lie. The, a blasphemy is detestable to God. Read. I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. No. Hey, hey, hey. Johnny, read. I know the blasphemy of them. He said, I know the lies of them which say they are Jews and are not. Who's saying they're Jews? Who's walking around saying they're Jews? The white man? God's saying they're not. Read that again so John gets the full. You see, look at his eyes, his mind is splitting. He don't know, he don't understand. I can't, I can't comprehend. They never taught me this. This is black history and you learning your history right now. That's right, right. that's right. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are nuts, but are the synagogue of Satan. God said those Jews are not Jews, but they are the synagogue of, of what? Satan. So we are, there's the children of God, which you are, but then there's the children of Satan. You thought, you thought America gives you equal opportunity. You think you, we envy to be like the white man, because on this earth he looks like he's doing well. But in the last book, listen to what God says, give me revelation. He that leads in captivity. God has the last say. I know, I know right now, your spirit is messed up. Because then you thought, yeah, I know. In your mind, you thought God loved everybody. You never heard this. How long you lived on this earth? 48 years. I lived on this earth 42 years. When I was 33, I, understand, I, I learned, I really learned this. Read that. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity. God said, this is, this is the end for the white man. This is his judgment, so to speak. Read, he that leadeth into captivity. God said, he that leadeth into captivity. You know what captivity is? What's that? Holding you hostage. Good. Are we not holding, held in hostage here? All the time. In America? All the time. God said, he that led us into hostage, bondage, captivity, slavery. That's what he said. Read, shall go into captivity. Shall go into slavery. Have you ever heard that? I thought God loved everyone. Give me that, Romans 9. Didn't God love everyone? Wouldn't God forgive these people if they asked for it? Never. I'm here to tell you. That's Revelation, that's Revelation 9, verse 13. Can, can you take, if you kill me, can you take that back? What, what is the judgment of killing? Judgment of Yes. For murder. What's the judgment of murder, sis? Death. Yeah, well, life in, in, in this society, they might give you life. But God, when God comes and Christ comes, he's not sharing his throne with Donald Trump or Joe Biden. He yeah. gonna, they're going to have to move elsewhere. You understand? Right. And, and you know where they're moving to? Chains. Mm. Bring it out. Chains, feathers of, of iron. That's what, that's what Daniel's. All the prophets said the same thing. Give me Jeremiah. Um, give me Isaiah. Give me Isaiah. 14 and 1. There's not one prophet that's going to say something different. Since you've been reading the Bible? Since you've been reading the Bible? You want, but do you, did you understand what was going on here? It's Black History Month. Do we know? Do you know our slavery is in this Bible? You know, you know our slavery is in this Bible? You, you were never taught that? Did you go to church your life, your whole life? Sis, you brought, you've been to church? Yeah, Okay, I got you, John. Well, uh, uh, can you give John a flyer? Yes. Yeah, uh, um, brother. Thank you, brothers. No nice problem, meeting all of y'all. So, what, what do you understand about your history? What, how, how, how long, how long you been here? How long you been on, uh, in America, in New York? 20 years. You going to high school here? Did you ever learn about slavery in high school? You never heard later about slavery in high school? Do you know that, that our history is that we've gone to slavery? You know that? The high school never taught you that? 
They they working fast. Why why wouldn't you be taught that? Isn't that isn't that uh, American history? Didn't they didn't they have us in slavery? What so what happened? You have you you don't know anything about this the slave trade here? Us being slave being whooped in the back. I, I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I'm perplexed. I I, I thought you would have learned it, but we're gonna teach you here. You know that that slavery was was um, told way before we even went into prophesied, way before we even went into slavery. God said that we were gonna go into slavery. He told Moses that. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. You you play basketball? You play sports? Have you ever um you know you know Kyrie Irving? You, do you remember what, what Kyrie Irving said? You don't know that that he said he's a Jew? And then you didn't remember, remember when they suspended him? Sis, sis, you remember when they suspended Kyrie Irving? Kyrie Irving Okay, but he, you know, he's waiting for Brooklyn Nets, and he made a he made a um, a statement about a movie. It was the, it was a movie about blacks being the true Jews, and he just said, "Y'all need to watch that." And they they suspended him. They want him to put a policy. And you know what happened? We showed up. And it's a title given to Christ, Philippians two eleven. And my name translates in the Hebrew language as Yahweh. So I went on the Amazon Prime. I was like, you know what? Let me see if there are any documentaries on Yahweh. So went in the search bar, typed in Yahweh. That came up. Went out and shared it on my platform. That was my night. With the not ego or pride of how proud I am to be an African heritage, but also to be living as a free black man here in America, knowing the historical complexities for me to get here. So. I'm not gonna stand down on anything that I believe in. I'm only gonna get stronger because I'm not alone. I have a whole army around me. I because he said I have an army behind me. Yes, what happened to you? Where'd it go? F the ADL. 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 There was a group outside, 100, possibly more. They were wearing a shirt uh, called Israel United in Christ. Uh, they're a group labeled yeah, as a hate group a, by the I city. think that's a conversation for uh, another day. I'm just here to focus on the game. We're in Brooklyn as an army to defend this gospel that's written in this Bible. Right. Because we 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 just we just speaking about truth. Like today, we just went over the the um the true depiction of Jesus Christ. You know what Christ looks like? You going to church? Who's that? That's Jesus. Is that written in the Bible? You don't know. I, I like that. I like that you say you know. At least I can work with that. Because a lot of people come out here, they front. They say, no, I know what Jesus looks like. But they gave you a depiction, and they say, this is Jesus. And you just accept it, right? right. Give me Romans 1 and 3. Because the only way you'll ever know what Christ looks like is if you read about it in his Bible. This is the most soul Bible, this most spoke about book on earth. But most of our people will never read it. Because what? You want to watch Carly B? You want to watch Young, I don't know, what's these guys' name? Young Turk, uh, Dirt, I don't know, that's Young Dirt, uh, Little what? Little, little Punk, isn't that Punk? There's a guy named Punk, right? Little Uzi Vert. Little Uzi Vert, I heard of him before. You see, you Uzi. Uzi Vert. But now we're talking about your history. You understand? That's something way more important. Read that. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 3. Blessed is he that read it. The Bible says, blessed are you that read. And I, and I don't mean the sports pages or how many LeBron dropped last night. We're talking about the Bible. Because the same God that's in this Bible, you're made in his image. You would know that 
because you told me school never taught you that our, our history is in this Bible. It's not a book of, of just words on paper. It means something. Read. And they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein. So blessed, when you hear this prophecy that I'm about to read to you, you keep that with you. You know why? It's going to build your self-esteem. You think that you think that blacks in America got good self-esteem or low self-esteem? Why? Why? Why do you think we have low self-esteem? Yeah, that's a, you're right. You're 100. I agree with you. We got low self-esteem, but why do we have low self-esteem? Come close. I can't even hear you. Oh, I like now you talk. Now you talk. Before you act like you didn't know nothing. You had nothing in your head. Now you speaking to me. The image that they portray us as. What image is that? Dogs. Like, Dogs and what? Dogs. I don't know. Just like violent people. Yes. Oh. And, and they portray us as the most violent people, right? But when when they kill one of our people, don't aren't we the first to forgive? So we got it. How are we the most violent people and yet still the most forgiving people? Do we start wars? We don't have no guns to start war. We might, I, 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 and I'm not going to absolve our people. We do dumb stuff. We kill each other, but we're not going across seas and overtaking seas and placing presidents in different lands. We, that, that's not us. So, though we kill, it's not truly in our nature because we, somebody kill our people. We like, hey man, we hug them in the courtroom. Oh, we love you. We saw God loves you too. I don't want to say twice or for the hundredth time what you've or how much you've taken from us. I think you know that. I hope you go to God with all what, all the guilt. I know if you go to God and ask him, he will forgive you. But I love you just like anyone else. I'm not gonna say I hope you rot and die just like my brother did, just like my brother did, just like my brother did, but I see I I personally want the best for you. I don't even want you to go to jail. I want the best for you. And the best would be give your life to Christ. Again, I love you as a person. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? And I don't wish anything bad on you. I don't know if this is possible, but can can I give her a hug, please? Please? Yes. <laughs> hey, bro, come on now, dog. Come on, man. But don't you know God don't love everybody? Do you, do you, do you, did you know God doesn't love everyone? Give me that. He don't believe me. He stopped. He stopped talking. He's like, hey, wait, the white man never told me that. That's not true. I got to prove it to you, man. Three. Romans um, 9 Because we have, in, in this land, they will, you believe you're free. You believe you got equality. Are you, are we equally, are we equal on this earth? Huh? Yes. What makes you equal? Do you, can you, can you, uh, you're in your 20. Try to pull a line of credit right now and see if you get the same uh, um, benefits as the white man. We don't, we don't look for those things. We look to be a rapper. You look to be a basketball player. The business we don't care for. You know why? Because we're okay in this position. We're okay as I'll play. We won't create anything but I'll play in your own, your, your own agenda. I'll play, I'll work for you, but I won't create work. You understand? Read that. Romans chapter nine and verse 13. As it is written. God said, as it is written. That means that this was written before. He's reiterating, as it is written, read. Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Have you ever heard that? God said he hates somebody. And to be clear, he hates a people. You understand? Why does God hate those people? Huh? 
Well, I can't hear what you said. Because he's mad at them? But why? Why would God hate a people and love another? Is, is there equality with God? Is God equal? Huh? But if he hates somebody and, and he give me that he above all people, Deuteronomy. If God if God hates a people, then he doesn't put that, he doesn't hold that person in regard. He doesn't put him on a pedestal. Understand? America, America wants to make us equal. But us being equal, that means we're, we had we had to step down. Because God put us above everyone. You understand? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. God said you are holy people. That means you're a special people unto God. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people. Wait, wait, wait. Slow down. Read that again. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Read. Above all. Above. Above. What does above mean? Thank you. That's simple. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So God chose his people to be above a people on, on, on every people upon this face of the earth. That means that there's a nation that should be ruling above every people. Right. And, and it's not him. I can prove that out the Bible. So, do you know that Jesus Christ is a Jew? So there's Jewish people, right? Do you know God talks about Jewish people? And ish, when I say ish, I'm, I'm, I'm being sarcastic because there's no such thing as Jewish in the Bible. Jewish is no, no different than I'm saying I'll be there at five-ish. What does five-ish mean? Huh? If I tell you, like, I'll be there around like five ish, what that mean? Yes! Good! So, eh, I ain't it, but I'll be around. You understand? Not exactly. That's exactly what that means. Not exactly. Because people live on our land, don't make them Jews. You understand? That blood that. They named that land after us. God made us. He named that land. You understand? Read that. No, give me, yes, read. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. So God is talking to you and all of us blacks and Hispanics. Who's poor on these lands? He's only talking to us? Because you can't go to the white man's land talking about poor. They don't even know what you're talking about. You understand? We know about mayonnaise sandwiches. You understand? Wish, uh, 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 two breads put together with nothing between it. You're going to eat that. Putting uh, um, Chinese food in every hood. We eat that. We ain't fried rings and white rice. $10. That's poor. It's not quality food. You understand? Read. But thou art rich. But God said, even though you're poor financially, you're rich. Why? Why does God say you're rich? Give me that again, Psalms 80. I'm going to show you why you're rich. I'm the, I don't want to speak too much. I'm going to let the Bible speak. Because you didn't know about black history. I'm going to let you understand it. Read. Psalms chapter 82 and verse 6. I have said, ye are God. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. Read that again. You ain't read that with no power. I have said, ye are God. So God has said that you are a God. Remember, those people he said, he puts on the face, he puts a bub on the face of the earth over all nations, he's talking to you. So when God said, let's make man in our image, was he talking about everybody else? Huh? What image was God made in? Huh? So you, you need to know the image of God to know what, to, to know that you're a God. If you're not made in a certain image, then you can't call yourself a God. Because God, if, if, I, if God's calling you a God, and God is a God himself, that's a family of gods. What, do you, what does he look like? Huh? You don't, I like that, you don't know. Give me that revelation. We're going to talk about this. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it out. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So this is the revealing, that's what revelation means. You ever heard of Revelation, the book of Revelations? 
It's the last book of the Bible. The end. Ain't no more after. You understand? Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things. So God gave this understanding to John the Revelator on the island of Patmos so that he could show us to this day. Like today is your day. So this day would come and you would know. You'd be revealed to know this truth. Read. Things which must shortly come to pass. Read. And he said and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. So he gave it to John to tell us. Read verse 4. One. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Go slow. I want to make sure this, this, this melts into his brain. Read it again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So his head, the, head, the hair on his face and on his head were white and wool. Now I want you to touch your head. What what texture is that? Huh? No, but what texture is it? It might be nappy. That's what you're trying to say, right? What people on the earth got nappy hair? Wooly, that's all me. You want this soft wool too. You see this right here? I ain't gonna lie, man. A lot of work, oil and stuff. But you can get that too, that fucky afro. My man, there's no more hope. <laughs> Read again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Were white, the color is white, and wool is the texture. So now, is that woolly? Like a sheep? That's wool on his head? Is that the same texture as this? So here's a difference. So which one is wool? Remember the scripture says, blessed is he that readeth. So what, what are you gonna believe in? What's woolly? Come close, come close. I know this brother. Yeah, oh, you brought you in? You, 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 came, you came to school too? All, all, all praise, all, all praise, all praise. So, what's woolly? You know, I know you know. We ain't talking to you. What's woolly? Huh? Yes, uh, do you have woolly hair? Huh? Remember, remember the scripture says that I have made, he made you in his God's image. So if God got woolly hair, what does people look like? Remember, God got woolly hair. I told you, woolly hair means nappy hair. You understand? That's, that's what you said. Touch your head. Is your, is your head woolly? Is your hair woolly? Then who's he talking to? He ain't talking to everybody. Huh? They say if you gotta bring a comb, leave him alone. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.